Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Been busy, very busy, and uh, you know, just hence all the non-videos that have been showing up on my channel lately. But uh, things are hopefully getting back to normal around here. Well, up until it gets closer to Christmas. But uh, I've been kind of trying to clean up this workshop a little bit down here and uh, get things straightened out, put away and all the shavings from the epoxy resin and wood and dust and everything else from working on guitars uh, cleaned up and vacuumed up and straightened out. So here is the kids guitar with the new skin. I think it came out pretty nice. It actually came out pretty good. And I'm not one for doing any skinning on guitars, but uh, I actually kind of like that. Headstock doesn't really match too much. I didn't do anything with the headstock. But the um, center of the headstock has a little bit more of an orange to it than the pinkish red, maybe. If that's what you want to call it. But it came out pretty good. So over here, what I have going on is, used to be a brown toolbox on top of the counter next to my laptop. And that laptop is the Dell Precision uh, 6800. It's been a great laptop, but I've maxed it out. There's really no more I could do to it as far as upgrading CPU, adding more memory, hard drive, whatever. Um, I'm sure I can add external drives to it, um, but that doesn't make it go any faster than what it already does. It works pretty nice. It's been working really good ever since I put it together and did my upgrades on it, but... Uh, I'm thinking more of a gaming PC now that I'm going to put over here with a normal screen and or monitor and keyboard and mouse, wireless of course. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about changing everything over. So I've gotten, you know, the floor was pretty bad in here. There was so much dust and, and shavings from the epoxy from drilling it out and, you know, sanding and everything else that it was pretty bad plus the little white spots that i had all over the place so if you can see over here the white spots that are on top of the, the little shelving thing over here that i had to clean off that's all rubbing compound i still have to clean that part off but i got everything else all cleaned up so this is the kids christmas stuff and uh still have a few more things coming not too much more don't want to spoil the hell out of her but uh, I got a dinosaur, which is kind of weird. I got a dinosaur skull, which is a um, T-Rex skull that's coming that she wanted. Now, it's not going to be the full size. It is going to be scaled down. But uh, Amazon and eBay are really loving me right now. So here I literally do have a surprise unboxing. This is something that I didn't order that somebody has sent to me. I recognize where it came from, but I don't know who it came from. And then over here, I actually do have a real unboxing to do that does uh, something that I ordered, so I know exactly what it is. So it's not going to be too much of a surprise for me, but it may be a surprise for you guys. So let's get on with it. All right, so let's get into these unboxings. So I got two of them over here, and they say that they are from Musician's Friends. So I don't know, I have not ordered anything from Magician's Friends. I didn't plan on ordering anything, but uh, so this is literally going to be a surprise unboxing. So I'm going to open it up on this side where there is my label. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, okay, so here is a, just a packing label hmm yeah so I don't know who these came from but this is a full pack of Ernie Ball Super Slinkies 9's oh this is nice this is really nice so I have to thank you whoever sent these to me because I don't know don't know who sent them. There's nothing here that says anything. So let's see. These are both the same boxes, so let's see what this is. Ah. Ha ha ha. So I got my packing label here again, which is just a just a packing label. That's it. And no other information. So yeah, this is sweet. I can always use these. It keeps me from buying them. 
And looks like, was there 10 in a box here? Probably 10, in a, 10 packs per box, maybe? 15 packs per box, 20 packs per box? What are these? Let's see here. Keeps me from ordering them, at least for a good long time. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve packs, am I right? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I'm right. So there's twelve packs per box. Wow, this is sweet. So whoever sent these to me, thank you very much. Um, thank you. Merry Christmas. And uh, this is nice. It would be nice to know who it came from, but maybe they'll reveal themselves in this video in the comments area. Who knows? But uh, thank you again. I appreciate it a lot. So unboxing number three, this is Guitar Kit World's kit guitar that I ordered from, well, Guitar Kit World. I did a little bit of a shout out video on his website and a little bit of showing um, some of his videos on YouTube as well as far as working on guitars, building the kit guitars, and he's building his own kit so you can see that whatever he's doing, you can do it too. So this is one of the kits that I bought from him and uh, yeah, so let's get it opened. Looks like this corner over here, somebody already tried to open it. No damage or anything done to the styrofoam at all. All right, this is nice. This is real nice. So here is the body that I want to make sure my hands, actually I want to clean my hands a little bit because I do not want to get anything on this wood. I'm going to do some staining on it or wood dyeing. So using a little bit of rubbing alcohol because the boxes are kind of dirty and the boxes have wax on them to keep them water resistant. So this is going to take whatever dirt from boxes off my hands and oils that are on my hands as well. All right. So I'm going to start off with the neck here. Alright, so that looks like an ebony, not a rosewood. Front markers feel pretty good. They're not uh, sticking up at all. The edges of the neck, the frets are a little bit sharp, so that can use some work on it. One piece, one piece neck. Nice headstock shape. Looks like a four millimeter, four millimeter Allen key, and this looks like a plastic nut, which that'll be replaced. Otherwise, you know, pretty much typical kit. Oh, there's a little bit of oh, there's a little bit of a cracking going on right here. So if I can get that in there, see if that shows up. A little bit of a cracking going on right here, but it doesn't look like it's going to affect the guitar in any way. But again, with kick guitars, you're going to come up against certain things that are uh, you're going to have to fix. You're going to have to work on, you know, especially like fret ends and stuff like that. That's just a common thing. The neck area over here, I can fill that up with the CA glue and fix that as long as the frets are not sticking up. Neck looks all right. Doesn't look too bad. It's got a little bit of a back bow in it, but not much. So that's the neck. Let's see what this body looks like here. Ooh, that's going to be nice. It's kind of nice. Is this a quilt? Yeah, it looks a little bit like, like a quilted maple. I like how they shaved. I'm going to have to kind of route out this a little bit more sharper of an edge. I don't mean sharper of an edge as far as being square. I mean sharper of an edge where it's going to be more round the way the shaping is supposed to be. So this is the body. The back looks good as far as the wood goes. And this is how many pieces? 
I'm seeing two pieces here. I want to say, actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not because the wood grain is going into each other over here where I thought over here was a two piece. It is not. Looks like a one piece mahogany body. And that stripe is going on a curve, so that's not, yeah, this is, a, it looks like a one piece mahogany body. Oh, wait, kind of see a little bit difference right here and here. Am I right? No, because the wood grain lines are going into each other here, so maybe this is a one piece body. This is the kit that I ordered. It is kind of nice. Quilted veneer, which is basically, you know, a thin piece of uh, wood on top of the body. Now what I'll do is I'll take a file, because I want to be gentle with it, I don't want to cut this out, I'll take a file and go along with this and make this line a little bit more sharper. Otherwise she looks good. Let's see how this neck fits into the body. Well, the neck fits into the body pretty nice, snug. It looks like it's pretty square. There's no shifting, there's no wiggling. Probably pick the body up with the, by the neck without any screws in it. So that's not bad. Now I've built a lot of kits before, so I kind of know what I'm looking at as far as wood goes and, and things that are you know, need to be a concern and this isn't bad other than the neck being a little bit uh, you know, the fretboard being a little bit goofy which I can deal with that and I can fix that that's not that big of a deal uh, let's see here it's all the hardware again your cheap now the one thing I want to do with this is I want to work straighten out that neck a little bit So right now the neck is pretty loose. It's not very tight at all. Okay. See if I can get that back bow out of it. Let's see here. Oh, wrong one, that's for the bass guitar. Still has a backbone in it. That's better. It's better. much better I can see it on balance sides that it's it came out and I'm not rocking back and forth and I don't see any gaps in the center so that worked out pretty good again I could fix fix that one no problem that's just a little tiny tiny crack and it's not gonna hurt anything but yeah that's the kit from this is the kit from uh, guitar kit world so what I'm thinking about doing with this thing is maybe not going too crazy. Um, probably replace the tuners. Some of the parts for the tuners. Hardware is going to be pretty much fine. There's not, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Electronics. So this comes with a three-way switch, a regular switch, not a box switch. Um, 
what we got here what are these CF pots and let's see what we got for pickups They're pretty lightweight pickups pretty much standard pretty standard pickups nothing really too uh, too exciting about these so you got a neck and a bridge give you some strings strap locks which I won't be using knobs control cavity cover neck back plate screws and output jack so yeah I'll probably use some of the hardware not all of it the bridge I'll probably use tailpiece I'll use electronics I'll probably replace um, I've got another set of I believe I have another set of tuners I always go through my stash and see what I have as far as other tuners go but a lot of times the tuners for these kick guitars they're okay they're not bad they're not great but they're not bad so that is the kick guitar from guitar kit world and so far it's not bad I'm, I'm liking what I see it's not going to be a pain he has to work on and uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it so you guys take it easy have a good one and if I don't make any more videos before the holiday goes uh, remember I have a uh, giveaway going on i will put a link in the description if you haven't already got into it you live in the usa uh jump on that so i'll catch up with you guys later take it easy have a good one and uh keep rocking on